Hi, it's Lynn from Lenny C Designs and today I'm coming on just to show you, again, again with the just, I'm coming on to show you how I made this card. So I am using Bermuda Bay, um, standard um, half a sheet of A4, um, it's cut at 14.9 um, 14 by 21 and scored at 10.5. I've got a, a matting layer for the inside which is cut half a centimetre um, shorter on two sides. I've got the same size for um, in Bermuda Bay for the front. I've got some white which is going to go behind the aperture for the, the, the background scene and then I've got some shimmery white for the Dragonfly. So I'm using the Dragonfly Dreams. Um, two stamps for that and I'm going to show you the new stamping tool that's now available from Stamping Up the Stamparatus. I've got um, Flavius, Fabulous Flamingo and I'm using some of the three, these three images here and to give the um, a bit of texture to the front panel I'm using the Woodlands texture um, in, embossing folder. So, and the aperture, I've used the largest circle from the layering circle to frame it. So let's get on and have some fun. So as I just mentioned, the um, new catalogue is out, um, launched yesterday. Um, I'm trying very hard not to order anything because I've got so many goodies um, that... For the minute, I'm just going to try and use the stamps that I have. So I'm going to show you quickly the Stamparatus. This is absolutely brilliant. I've had it for a while and I've had a chance to play with it. Um, it comes with two magnets. There are lots of videos um, on the interweb about it. Um, now let me just make sure I've got that in the right spot. And I'm using, because I'm using a photopolymer um, stamp, I've got the foam matting. Let me just bring that here. I haven't got much space on this work surface, so I'm just going to do one at a time. So you ink it up. And then stamp it down. And the wonderful thing is, because the magnet keeps the paper in place, if you haven't got a perfect image and I haven't got a total image there, you just re ink and then press down, and that goes back in in exactly the same spot. Perfect. So I'm just going to get rid of that one. Turn it round because I've got my inks up here. Check that I'm doing that in the right spot. There we go. So I'm going to use Lemon Lime Twist. And then with a sponge dobber, I'm going to add the Bermuda Bay. And again, because this isn't going to move, I can do that. Very pretty. But there are a couple of spots that I want some more Bermuda Bay. There we have it. Perfect. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to take that out of the way. And I will um, fussy cut this in a moment. So um, let's do some stamping. Because I'm their photopolymer, um, I'm using my stamping um, mat and I've just stuck on a bit of uh, scrap paper here. I've already um, ran through 
Now this, you can see this scrap of card isn't, uh, isn't full length. So what I'm going to do, just to make sure I get my scene um, in the right sort of area, just run around with a pencil there. I've got a post-it note. Things dropping all over the floor. I've got a post-it note here. Do my horizon so this is my second attempt I'm hoping my I had video failure on my first attempt so I'm hoping it works this time I just want to have a bit of sky color there we go so it's not stark white I'm going to use the lemon lime twist to come in with some bronze. Hmm. A little bit silly. Oops, I should have had this on this apparatus. matter. I'm going to turn that round though. To create the sea in the Bermuda Bay. So I use this stamp quite a lot actually. Create water, I think it's really lovely. And then I've got some tranquil tide, and I'm going to come in off the in off the bottom. There we go. Very happy with that. So um, one more bit of stamping. I want to have those fronds coming in down the edge. So I don't know if you can see, I'm just inking that up and then stamping that across. That's perfect. So we are done. We can put these inks away so there should be a subscribe button um, somewhere on the screen uh, if not now then coming up soon uh, I'm absolutely delighted that I now have over 500 subscribers I think that's absolutely amazing got so many glues on my table um, Yes, how amazing is that? 500. Very exciting. So thank you very much, everybody who has subscribed. I really, really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy my videos. If there's something, a technique that you'd specifically like to see or anything, then just let me know. That's lovely. Now, I got this wrong the first time, so I will quickly rub out the line that we put in earlier Oop, there we go come back <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that down there Some glue on the back of that. I want to pop up the top layer with some dimensionals but if I stick that down 
exactly where I want it and that is going to work perfectly lovely oh. Oh, I don't know obviously needed a little bit more glue than that so hopefully that's still yeah that didn't move very much let me just make sure that's completely disappeared Fantastic. Let's pop that up on dimensionals. And let's use the side bits, two side bits there, just to pop up either side of the aperture. There we go. Lovely. I'm probably going to leave the sentiment um, off because I don't know quite know how I'm going to use that but now that that is dry I'm just going to fussy cut round um, this did, does come with a matching die set but I didn't buy them so um, I'm just going to fussy cut it doesn't take an awful lot to fussy cut I'm not brilliant at it, but I guess practice makes perfect. I may speed this up for you so that you don't have to see how painful it is for me doing it. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way. So as I say, the uh, new catalogue launched yesterday um, worldwide and um, there are lots of very lovely goodies in there. I'm going to try and not order too much. I think my, my husband's got uh, hidden my credit cards anyway. Um, no, not really. I. Uh, I got so many nice bits and I did just recently buy some bits because they were before the end of May because the, I wanted to get a couple of bundles so I think I may hold off other than getting some of the new colours um, there we go I'm just going to go in a little bit on both sides there That is lovely. So, um, I always give the wings a little bit of a shape and then we can stick that on with another bit of dimensional under the body or between the wings. There we go. Just go in a bit further there so the tail goes up. That's lovely. So um, this one I had some ribbon on there but it was a top fold opening and I just think I'm going to leave that blank just for the minute. So um, there we are, there are the both of those. Um, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. If you want to look at any of these or have a browse through my shop there will be a link in the description below and you can find full details on my blog. Ta-da for now!